Upsy Daisy, we want to see your beautiful little face. We want to see your beautiful little face. Look. Oh boy. You're so brave to come up to mama like that. You are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? You're <laughs> hit my head. You just kissed the top of my head. Did you just kiss me a little bit? I'll take it. Oh, hello, friends. Hey, y'all. How are you? We are experiencing a beautiful, I mean like stunning Sunday afternoon. And while there's a million things for me to be working on, it's beautiful outside. So I thought that I would take this day and this time and take this lawn chair, this lawn chair, and we're gonna go spend some time with the baby alpaca. Why? Because during the week, we don't have time to do these things. We don't. I'm gonna grab me a soda and that lawn chair, and we're heading out. You ever just like find yourself in regret about things that you just ran out of time for? For instance, things like chores around the house or things you, you know, promised and you're like, oh, you got so hung up doing whatever. Well, I have regret about not taking time when Xander was little to just sit and enjoy the moment because I was so worried about getting the laundry done or the dishes done or catching up on work and always just thought that there'll be time. There'll be time. There'll be time eventually where one day I can sit down and hang out. Now, he's almost a 22 year old man with his own house, his own partner in life and his own interest of everything that he loves in addition to working his career. And I find myself regretting not playing baseball in the yard, not going out to play in the snow, not giving him time. And in a really strange way, not giving myself time either. I'm shuffling here, I'm struggling. This chair isn't folded up and meant to be. Oh boy. So I'm I'm not doing this to be like, I'm gonna give the alpaca time and make it up to my son that way. That's not what I mean by this. I mean that whenever I find time, I'm gonna do a better job at rewarding myself time as well. So yes, there's laundry to be done. There's cleaning to be done. I could go ahead and log on to work and put in a few hours there to get ahead for the week so that I can work more. There's plenty of chores that I could absolutely bury myself into. But right now, this is what I wanna do. You wanna do it with me? It sounds, it sounds, it sounds fun, right? Come on. This may seem totally ridiculous to you. I'm sitting in a rocking lawn chair with my hose in hand in the alpaca pasture. I don't care. I don't care. This is where I want to be. And let me show you why. So, see that sweet baby girl over here? Upsy Daisy? She is a nervous Nelly, and so is her mama. And I brought this chair out here. Grabbed the water hose, refilled waters, got all that done, and they're terrified of the chair. So I'm gonna sit in this chair with the hose and hope that it brings my alpacas back together and they aren't so freaked out that there's a chair in their pasture. I've sat on a bucket many times and I can walk in here and they walk up to me and everything's fine. But Upsy Daisy is a very nervous little girl and she is the most heightened aware baby that we've ever had. And her mama, <laughs> is teaching her to be that way and you know I think sometimes like maybe Annie because Oki wasn't in her care and is gone now maybe this is this is the baby that's gonna get the most helicoptering of all because she doesn't didn't have control of that 
scenario. But now here we have this cute little girl who hums all the time and is pretty nervous. So if I sit out here with the water hose, perhaps someone will acknowledge me. But as I mentioned, part of this is like, obviously I want to do it for me, but I want this baby to trust us and to know that it's not going to get hurt. She isn't going to get hurt. And then I don't, I don't think there's anything bad about washing some alpaca action out here. Hey, Ernie. <laughs> it's going to bring me joy. And I hope it does the same for you. All right. Let's see here if we can get... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a kink somewhere. Hold on. Annie is curious, but very confused. She's like, why are you sitting in that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> She's very nervous. It's funny how animals look at one new thing and think like, what is it? What is it going to do to me? How's it going to hurt me? And, and know instantly that it's something that's different. And it is different. It's a lawn chair in their pasture. But if I'm sitting on it and there's a hose near it, I'm hopeful that I can change some hearts. It may not work. The chair may have to stay out here without me for a while so they can get used to it. Crazy, huh? Oh, a first comer. Here she comes. She had to verify that it was actually what it is because it's in a weird spot. But she's like, oh, this is... This is so exciting. I seem to have come across a magical waterfall in the middle of our pasture. That's because I'm your mama, silly. I did expect India Ernie to be the first. So, not shocked here, but oh boy, baby. That's so exciting, huh? <laughs> Sweetie, where are you going? Look, look who's not moved one bit. <laughs> She's even mad that they tried it. Uh oh. Guess who's guess who's next and not afraid of his mama at all. Thank you for not being scared, but look, look. Nobody moved when Indy came, but now that Ernie is here. How funny is that? Hi, buddy. You gonna step on into it? <laughs> He's like, spray me. Why would you hold it out further? I'm spraying, buddy. I'm so spraying. Look. Oh, boy. You're so brave to come up to mama like that. You are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? You get... <laughs> hit my head. You just kissed the top of my head. Did you just kiss me a little bit? I'll take it. Oh, hello, friends. How funny is that? Hi, buddy. You gonna step on into it? <laughs> He's like, spray me. Why would you hold it out further? I'm spraying, buddy. I'm so spraying. Look. Oh, boy. You're so brave to come up to mama like that. You are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? You're getting... <laughs> hit my head. You just kissed the top of my head. Did you just kiss me a little bit? I'll take it. Oh, hello, friends. I wish grass would grow all the way back out here. Maybe it's getting better, but I guess it is also the time of year where nothing's going to grow like that. I just want it to be beautiful things got so run down with the drought and then with all the rain we had every bit of topsoil is gone look who's here 
How you feeling, buddy? You got a little, you got a little something, something right up in there. You do. Well, they're leaving. This wasn't gonna meet their expectations, I guess. Back on to go see what else said. See what else is going on, I suppose. That's okay. Today's win is that Ernie and Indy are totally into it. They're like, yeah, we'll come hang out with you, Mom. Have hose equals a party. He really did come and sniff my head. <laughs> Gave me the little, like, boop. My own boop. And look, look. Are you coming more in? Yeah? I don't think he feels the best today, to be honest. Although, I will say that his nostrils are not flaring nearly as much as they were yesterday. Yesterday kind of freaked me out. It's time to bring in another sample tomorrow. So we'll see what uh, what comes of that. You can see that, I mean, he's wet down right now, but you can still see his hip bones and where he's sunken in. And that breaks my heart, but he eats like crazy. He absolutely eats like crazy. He just isn't able to keep weight on. My God, do I wish that that was my issue. It is not my issue though. Y'all both almost done? Thank you for coming to see me. <laughs> He's like, no, we're not done actually. If you could just let that run forever, we would be 100% on board. Ernie, you look so handsome. He will get his iron supplement and his B vitamin supplement tonight too. Oh, they went to go eat. I see you over there. You're such a good mama. I'm so proud of you. Hi, Upsy Daisy. Oh, you're gonna come back. That's so perfect. Come see me. It's the same me, it's just a chair. Mm, nope, too shy. That baby probably makes 100 to 200 circles around her mama every day. Don't you want me to spray you down, Annie? Like, I do. I absolutely do. Ernie. Ernie just wants to stand in the spray the whole day. Well, I don't blame you. It feels good to you. You have hay on the side of your head, sir. That feels nice. Just on your neck. Okay, I won't hit your chin. Sorry. Annie's coming over, though. Full disclosure. And a little bitty upsy daisy on the other side. I don't want to get. Oh, you got wet. I didn't mean it. You walked into it. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Whoopsie. Oopsie daisy. I said it. I said oopsie. Uh, upsie. You know, whatever. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Annie. How are you? Are you nervous? You don't have to be nervous. I'm the same mama. I'm just sitting instead of standing. I don't know. I've ever sat in the pasture with Annie. She's not real. Like, if I stand up, she'll come and put her face all the way up against this nozzle. But sitting down out here has her really freaked out. How funny. I'm the same person, baby. Upsy Daisy, we want to see your beautiful little face. We want to see your beautiful little face. She's like, nope, no one gets to see it. You can see my behind. Come on over here. Let me love you. Let me see, yes, let me love you. Oh my goodness. Well, bye. See you later. Well, alpaca lunch of 30 minutes turned into alpaca hour. Whoopsie. And they all ditched me to go graze. 
Ernie's the only one that keeps looking over going, is the hose back on? Maybe. Either way, welcome to day one. Tomorrow will be day two. I'll bring you along. I'm leaving the chair. The spooky chair is staying. And we're going to see what happens. I love y'all.